Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Oxygen Not Included. We are developing a new floor over here. We're also doing a very large digging job over here to eventually get some bleach stone so we can get some hand sanitizers going on. We got like a million digging jobs going on and a million cooking jobs going on. And as per usual, I'm just having my people do way too much. But hey, they've got clean showers now, so that's got to be pretty exciting. We do have two of these power generators now, and unfortunately that is going to keep people relatively busy, and I'm not super keen on that. Um, but I guess that's the, going to be the way it's going to have to be. We are we are researching combustion now, so we'll be able to start doing some coal power, which is good. I think we're going to develop that down here, uh, because again, the expectation will be that carbon dioxide will sink. So what I'm going to do is set up a bunch of terrariums over here. We will get a floor lamp in between. Actually, I guess we could just do a ceiling lamp. Um, and I don't know if like the base tile is the one that counts or the top tile. But we'll just put a floor lamp in between. We'll know it'll reach. The floor lamps use less power as well, so, you know, that's fine. So this is going to be a terrarium generating some oxygen for the bottom floor, and also they suck carbon dioxide out. The algae deoxidizer don't actually suck out the carbon dioxide. Not that this does that much anyway, but it's a thing. So we'll get that, and then we'll set up a power generator here or something. We'll we'll figure it out. You need to use the washroom. You're working on that. Plenty of people are taking the showers finally. I don't think they have to shower very often, but you know they've gone they've gone so long that right now everyone needs showers. Uh, cooking station, cooking station, cooking station is complaining about two things, which is interesting. Yeah, so th those insufficient resources are to be expected. We have one mush bar, we need two to run that. And this needs the, um, the, the lice over here, which we don't have any right now, so that's okay. But what's important is this micro musher is working to create our mush bars for us right now, which are then going to get fed into this machine. Excellent, we're getting some deep fried mush bars! There we go, fried mush bars. So, 400 calories. So, if we click here... Uh, no, I want to click on the mush bar. So, fried mush bar, four of them. They're all 1,000 calories each. So, we actually lose calories, as far as I can tell, by doing this. There's four of them, because I think each of the actual mush bars... One mush bar, yeah. So, one mush bar is 1,000 calories. We need two mush bars to make a fried mush bar, which is also only 1,000 calories. So, we lose half of our calories, but we remove the threat of diarrhea. And maybe the diarrhea is the reason people have to use the outhouse so often. Uh, I hadn't considered that. Athletics going up. New duplicate! New duplicate. I mean, we're going to need more resources, but more workers are good. Twinkle to That is some fast movement speed, which I love. Also, the cooking's quite nice. Narcoleptic is not necessarily great, but it is what it is. You want a lot of decor expectation, and your stress level is destructive, which isn't great. Iron Gut can eat about anything. That's good. Mouth Breather, you do use a lot more oxygen, which isn't great, but your decor expectation is pretty low. Grub over here, good at digging, can do the learning, creativity... Mole hand, so that's your bonus to digging and your quick learner over there. Mm -hmm. Small bladder, so you're gonna have to go and pee more often. Hmm. Hmm. I do like movement rate. And just have you cooking and digging or something like that. But that decor expectation is really high. I'm actually thinking we're gonna go with grub over here. Grub it is. Congratulations. So, Mr. Grub. Uh, oh, combat is used, or digging is used for combat, which is interesting. There we go. That's going to be your priority stuff. Uh, you're going to, you potentially help out with the research, harvesting, digging. We have a lot of digging for you to do, so I expect you're going to be real busy. There you are, Grub. Run this at speed three a little longer. Oh, we need some power for the lamp. Of course we do. Um, so our tile... Yeah, keep working with sandstone. And... Do that. And then we'll run some power down there. Oh, refinement. What do we unlock in refinement? Oh, yeah, the bio distiller. Slime into algae. And the water purifier. Mm-hmm. Fertilizer maker. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, power, 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 power. Electrical wire. I'll just have it come down the um, the ladder, because sure, why not? And then you're going to come up there and give some light. Okay, so we'll get a little bit of oxygen generation down here. It's actually got 
quite a lot of oxygen down here right now already, which is good. But then again, more passive oxygen generator is going to be good. We may not have to run the algae deoxidizers quite as much. Um, we have seven people and we have seven beds. Well, isn't that great? I think we are going to end up building more beds up here because it's just enough room and I don't know. As far as, you know, maybe, maybe you know, bed quality is something that we're going to have to be concerned with later on. But for now, we are okay. So we'll just jam a bunch of beds in there. Just a little bit of power. You need... Oh, you need to be told... Oh, we still don't have any briar seeds. Is there anything harvestable up here? Nope. Over here there is. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Someone else is taking a shower. You're running around over there. Stress levels are at 0%. Calories are going up. Still have three Mars bars. I mean, mush bars ready to go. Deep fried mush bars. Okay, power situation is fine. I mean, people haven't run fairly often, but we actually do have a good store of power. We haven't gotten that interrupted in some time. No warnings right now, which is pretty good. Um, definitely some contaminated water over here, which again, we can use to make some stuff later on, so that's okay. You're flooring that. We really need that to get built as well. Although we've got plenty of oxygen, getting this floor lamp working actually isn't the world's highest priority. Which is pretty astounding. I don't suppose we can ever, like, harvest these plants, huh? Just as... Growth progress, 100%. Idle. Yeah, I don't think so. More harvestables over there. So I think when we're digging up, we might get some, some seeds every now and again. We're obviously going to get some sand falling down over here. Uh, we can also give a little dig command there, because there might be something in that tile. We can bop that. We have the compost over here. We still have the air deodorizer, which isn't doing much at all. Which is actually nice to see. Cooking station doesn't have anything. That's okay. Athletics for more movement is wonderful. You're starting to dig things up over here, which makes me extremely happy. We're digging some stuff over here. I love the fact that this is oxalite never really got used up for a long time. It's going to drain a lot faster now because we're opening a new area, which means that our air pressure is going down a little bit here, so it's going to have to get consumed. But that's okay. Actually, just, you know, helps us deal with this a little bit while we uh, develop this area. And we are going to floor that. I don't know if I'll rush getting all the tiles up. Well, why not, right? Yeah. Uh, that is so not what I meant to do. Cancel you. There you go. And again, every now and again we get these like funny little notches in our tiles, but I think that's just something that randomly shows up, I guess. Because we've had this forever, and I don't know, yeah. Maybe it has something to do with the way I drag it, but I don't think so. Just these little extra notches for no real reason. More skill increases. That's Cat, now has Athletic 6, Insufficient Resources for the Cooking Station. Cycle 13 report is done. Yeah, we're, we're generating net gain in Oxygen, we're generating a net gain in Power. That's good, a little bit of Power Wasted? I don't know what the Power Waste was coming from. Oh, we created some Power that wasn't stored. Oh, Stress Change is basically non-existent. We did generate a bunch of Calories over here. Travel Time, Skill Increases. Excellent. Well, I'm really happy about the state of our little base here. It feels like things are going really, really, really well. Um, you know what? This is probably going to create some toxic air, I bet. So let's make sure we've got a little air deodorizer um, right over here to make sure that any bad air that comes up and out of here doesn't go anywhere bad. And our research has been completed again. Well, let's let's get some gas piping. I don't know if when we're going to unlock that. Oh, oh, gas, like chlorine gas and stuff. Ew. All right, so what do we unlock? The coal generator, hydrogen generators. Right. So, and we've got some place over here. So, the idea is burn coal. This converts hydrogen to electricity. We don't, we didn't have, we haven't tapped hydrogen yet. But the coal generator, yes. So if I put this here and get you hooked up to the grid. And again, you put out a lot of CO2. CO2 tends to drop, so I'm hoping it accumulates here and gets converted by our algae terrariums. And what I think I might do is tile down this way and put a manual airlock over here. Now, we'll need some oxygen generators on the other side as well, but I don't want CO2 going everywhere. 
Maybe we can put some sort of vent here. There is, um... Mesh tile and gas permeable tile. I guess a mesh tile we could put here just to let things exchange between the two floors. Or, you know, we can just dig down put another ladder over here, which actually might be a fine way to do it as well. Um, alright, things are idle. Who got a skill point? Grub got athletics. Inefficient, insufficient oxygen generation. Uh, I don't think that's going to be a long-term thing. But maybe. Alright, so you had that come through. Um, there might be, because again, we're draining effectively a lot of oxygen by opening up more area over here. We need a lot more, more gas space. You're making deep fried bars. We don't have a uh, refrigerator up yet, so let's go ahead and get that going. So that food will last a little bit longer. Hopefully things get stored there as a priority. I don't actually know. And tons of beds over here. Uh, th these beds set up do suck if, um, if you get anyone who snores. People who snore have to be isolated. By like quite a bit, by like four tiles or something ridiculous like that I noticed in my little test game. I mean, I played for like 15 minutes, but one of the people I had was a snorer, and it was really bad. So just keep an eye open for them. Alright, we got our smelly water over here. Yeah, it doesn't look like, it looks like two tiles does properly keep the water in place. Well, that is really important to know. So oxygen overall should still be okay. Let's go ahead. Oh, that's harvest. Let's take a look at some of our overlay maps again. So we've got um, oxygen overlay. It's fine. I mean, there's CO2 that's pooling in these little things, but that's 100% okay. We've got some contaminated oxygen over here, which is interesting. But that's it. That's what our, our little air deodorizers do as well, is make sure to fight that, which clearly isn't a problem, but who cares. Uh, power grid. So no power has reached there yet, but that's all right. Uh, temperature overlay. Yeah, we got... A lot of the devices are quite hot, and actually some of the air over here is quite warm. We're going to have to look into temperature controls. Lit areas, okay. Liquid plumbing, just over here. Gas, non-existent. Decor, could be uh, could be a little bit better, but, you know, it's fine. So, okay, the planter box is ugly, but the plants themselves are pretty. That's interesting. But still, these areas over here is pretty. Uh, this one, no seed yet, that's right. Um, and then priority overlay, which doesn't seem to do anything in the current build. Alright, so you're slowly digging through here. So this is going to give us some more resources. Not that we're really short on a lot of these resources, but it's going to be there. I wonder if we can, like, transplant that. If we dig it up. Oh, it converts the plant into a seed! Yeah! Okay, so we're not going to lose this. That's good. Okay, let's let's do that. Let's get rid of them here. In particular, the bristle briar being converted into seed means that we can... And I assume if we dug up this area, it might auto-do that. And then we can actually just floor this as well. It means we can plant the bristle briar here. And, well, I guess only the one. Hopefully we can dig up another one of those seeds. So, ah, we've got two. I don't know if we got two from the plant, or most likely we dug up a seed somewhere along the way over here. Okay, that's excellent. Because we can get the prettiness here. I love the cooking here. That is that is a grill master over here. Blanche is really working that barbecue. Temperature very high. So I don't know how like temperature permeates throughout the rest of the thing. Like this thing is really hot, but it doesn't seem to be affecting the surrounding air too much. So I don't know what the temperature management situation is going to be like in the end. Be nice if you could push the water into this pool rather than just mopping it up. All right, shower still going okay here. A little bit of lack of privacy. Anyone can come over here and look down into the shower. I suppose we could wall that off if we were concerned. Doesn't seem to be an issue, though. Our compost over here. Still some dig commands over here. we got lots of jobs still out there. I'm happy this is finally going. If we can get that uh, bleach rock and get that hand sanitizer down, that would make me very happy. Still have some ox light over here, slowly emitting some oxygen. But so far, our production rates are good. We haven't been attacked anywhere. There's still that weird little critter over here, the Morb, who's overheated, poor guy. Iron ore, ooh, more algae, igneous rock, the phosphorite. We got another Morb over here, some chlorine gas. Hydrogen over here, though, and the chlorine. The hydrogen we could use for some power. Speaking of power, okay, no, that hasn't been built yet. Fair enough. Um, I'm going to go and run some power... I realize it's already connected there, but kind of want to do this. 
Just, just because. Oh yeah, it doesn't actually connect. There we go. Something like that. I'm just gonna feel better. So still waiting for this to be produced. I'm digging up some more algae too. And I think we've got a fair amount of algae kicking around. That's what, organic? Yeah, we got tons of algae kicking around. Tons of fertilizer as well. I don't know if we use anything, if we have anything that uses fertilizer directly. I don't know if the planter boxes do, actually. I don't know. Still need that refrigerator built. Um, got some sand that developed over here. I think the refrigerator will get built anyway. It's just a question of getting people to do the job. You are making some more meals. We've got 35,000 kcals. Lots of life loaf, lice loaf kicking around. Making some mush bars as well. Fried mush bars. Uh, ooh, fair amount of stress building up. Poor Price. Price, where are you? What's making you interrupted sleep? I wonder why that was. And you got the dirty hands as well. What interrupted your sleep? Did you not get to bed in time and then it was wake up time? I actually have no idea. I'm quite curious. Yeah, so I wonder if we went and dug this down a little bit deeper so it was a bit of a trench and pumped, like, just a little bit of water in. I don't know how you would control that. I guess turn a pump on and off? Just get just enough water to keep them going nonstop? I'm not sure. I think it's time for us to upgrade the outhouse to the better toilet. Maybe, well, I'm... I should probably wait until I'm done, like, the crazy construction queue that I have going on. Maybe I should cancel this. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to cancel the, the digging here for now. Um, because I would like to prioritize any digging over here to get to the bleach stone. Um, finish the construction. And then... I could just build the uh, the toilet somewhere else, actually. It might be a good idea to build it somewhere where we actually want water. Maybe I'll leave the outhouse. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave the outhouse. And we're going to get another a lavatory... Which presumably needs water in and out, and it do, so that people can do the doo-doo. Um, is it uh, decor minus 10 with two tiles, which makes perfect sense. Um, I could do this. It's a little out of the way, but at least I don't have to run a crazy amount of pipes. But I'm actually wondering more is like developing it over here or something like that. I mean, we've got you here. It'd be nice near the ladder. I don't know. It doesn't take that long to get here. Is that? Can that fit? Okay, yeah, that'll fit. So, and then what we want to do is run clean water, like that, and dirty water, like that. Okay. It looks like it's going to work. It's probably a better way to handle this piping, but I don't know what it is. See, the liquid pipe bridges make a lot of sense. I don't know what the power bridges are going to be as important for, but I guess if you're switching some things on and off, that's where it's going to become important. It's funny how things are falling down there. It's missing a foundation. I don't think it can work if it's not attached to something, but it doesn't go away, which is nice. It doesn't just fall off and destroy or anything like that, so as soon as the floor gets built, we're going to be okay. Still lots of digging going on over here. I mean, I could shorten this by not digging through the ceiling. You know, we can just do that later on, which might not be a bad idea. Just shorten this job, trying to get to that bleach stone so we can build a hand sanitizer. And I didn't have a choice, right? I can't choose something like it's literally grayed out. I've got the copper ore. So the copper ore is the raw metal I can choose, but it absolutely needs bleach stone. There's not even an option. It does have both of them redded out in the list, but I think it's just because I'm missing the bleach stone. Sand, sand, granite, more obsidian, lots of fertilizer. We got some some um, contaminated oxygen over here, but I don't think it's really a significant problem. Like, if we went over here, I don't think it would be an issue. Just they can't breathe in that particular little pot, but I don't think it'll make them sick. I'm, I'm gambling on that, that it won't just make them sick. They just won't breathe in that area. It doesn't seem to be spreading and infecting the rest of the oxygen in here, so that's good. I don't know what the effect of the chlorine gas would be. I mean, it's not just about breathing. You don't want to get that shit in your eyes. Like, that is really, really bad. Okay, granite. This obsidian with a buried object. I'm going to prioritize digging that out, though. When we can. So you're hauling some stuff. We could put a little um, stockpile over here, maybe, just to minimize some of the hauling. I don't know what you're up to. You... Oh, you delivered sandstone down here. I see. Bit of a building job. Yeah, that's fair. I can dig it. 
And now you're picking up copper ore. What are you going to do with copper ore? Oh, you're going to work on the coal generator, are you? Or, you know, some of the other bits and pieces. Yeah, okay. Well, that's good. At least, you know, construction is still a thing that's happening. Love this dude. He's very adorable. It's kind of freaky that it can breathe chlorine, though, with ease. So you can dig that out. We'll get a little debris that falls down. You're still waiting for power. You don't have any meal lice. We have 29,000 kcals of lice love, so that seems to be going just fine. Plenty of power, and again, we will get this at some point. Oxygen, 2,700 grams. So really high oxygen density over here, which is presumably trickling upwards in some fashion, since apparently oxygen seems to rise. I'm still worried at some point we'll run out of some water here. Especially if we start pumping water for more than one thing. But, I don't know. We still have plenty of water over here. What I could do is pump water out of here over to here. Since we're already drawing water out. We're just connected up to the same system. That actually seems relatively reasonable. Um, we could plan... How do we get down here? Because I'm worried if I dig through here, it'll cause the water flow out of there, which isn't really what I'm looking for. Although, if this has gotten empty, it hardly makes much of a difference. Let's see here. Because I can, I can come at it from here. That's fine. I guess I could just dig underneath. Right? That's fine. Then we can get there. So, I should uh, deconstruct this. I should actually never build a floor underneath a ladder because at some point I'm going to want to continue that ladder down. That seems kind of a reasonable assumption. So then we can go here, we can reach there, we can dig that, and then we'll have access to this area and we can figure something out at that, that juncture. Um, this probably is not going to get much in the way of fresh air, though. That'll be the one thing, so people are going to have to hold their breath running around down here. Okay, we have our airlock. Some, some air on the other side, anyway, so that's okay. You're digging out. These things need quite a lot of water. We're draining a lot of water out of here. So yeah, I think for convenience, just for like, for people don't have to go too far to get water, I think it makes a lot of sense to keep pumping water into this area. The one thing I'm not sure about is... If I put, say I put the water outflow over here, and we're pumping, will it pump like all the way up and overflow? Or will it not actually raise the water above this point? It, I guess the big question depends on how pressurized the liquid pumps are. And how the water physics work in this game. And I don't have the answer to that. I guess the other thing is I don't actually... Hold on. I don't actually need to do this. Because there's no reason I can't just come down here. Right? People can swim a little bit. Alright, I can do that. Maybe not quite that far. I'll do that just so that it's a little bit more even. Oh, we got a person! Let's do it. Choose the duplicate. Biohazard. Oh, this person gets sick all the time. You have a lot of skills in a few different areas. You're bad at athletics, so you're going to move quite a bit slower. Like, that is a huge speed debuff. Maybe you, you're low level, iron gut, you don't get sick, you can't cook, you can do a little bit of everything, and you're easy to impress. I like it, there, done. The only downside is that you don't cook. We should have plenty of beds. We're up to eight people, and we have... So that was seven, and then the six, so we have 13 beds. I should make, like, another, a seventh bed over here. Like a dwarf fortress thing. Or we, we consider our dwarves to be in, in groups of seven. That's the way it works. Okay, we've got our coal generator is hooked up. It said it was waiting for a coal delivery, but I think it's got it now. So you are making crap tons of power. Coal generator, 600 watts. Manual generator, 400 watts. But presumably, if the coal generator is running and keeping the batteries stoked... I mean, are you? Do you have coal right now? Are you working? Do you have to be operated? It not be the most clean burning power, but at least it's in it's also inefficient. Excellent. Yeah, are you working? Well, these ones aren't. It's telling me 400, but it's not actually operational in that moment. And there doesn't seem to be anything going on. So I'm willing to bet there needs to be a coal delivery. 
before this starts operating. We'll probably see smoke and stuff coming out of it. Might also get very hot down here. Oh yeah, do we have temperature stuff? There's not a category for temperature, unless it goes under utilities. It's night time. Yeah, we could... Uh, we should get started on some art to beauty this place up. Low decor, high decor. So we can put it in areas of low decor where people might spend time. Like, let's build it right over here. So people who are pooping and people who are sciencing can get some pretty art. So someone's going to have to paint it. And the sculpture is presumably the exact same way. Um, I guess we can choose materials. We're using igneous rock for this. I guess that's fine. Although ma things made out of granite are way prettier. And we've got some granite. So let's make a granite statue. There. Excellent. Uh, micro mushrooms not running. That's fine. Although, ooh, look at this. Big harvest. Bam. Big huge harvest. All right, you're going to slowly dig that out. Research complete. So that's gas piping. That was a tier one research for gas piping. So we have that. Gas pipe, permeable tile, gas pump. Draws it in. Gas vent. Can we store it somewhere? Thermal regulator. So cools the gas pipe through it, but outputs heat in the immediate vicinity. Oh my god, so you can, like, cool oxygen. So you draw... Wow, you draw oxygen in through one of your gas pumps. You run it through the thermoregulator to cool the oxygen, and then you pump it into a room that needs to be air conditioned. But the room that this is in is going to get hot, so you sort of seal it off or something. Although you can also put down a hydro fan, which just dissipates a little bit of heat and might be more manageable. Gas valve. Maintain ideal gas pressure. Liquid valve. Liquid pressure. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to pick up temperature modulation for now, because we'll finish off the Tier 2 science. And if nothing else, we can build those fans. Let's just make sure the temperature in these areas, for example, are idealized. It's interesting that the, the plants have such little heat tolerance. You're going to clean that out. This still needs to be built. We still have way too many jobs queued up. Although it's starting to come down a little bit. We don't have quite the same insane level as we did for a little while. So things are getting a bit better. Storage isn't full. We got room for that. Science is sciencing. Um, art jobs. Turn it off for you. Yeah, Cass has got the highest art skill. Let's encourage Cass to do some art. And then, you, I think you still do other jobs. I don't think you ever go full idle if nothing is assigned. I think you only go full idle if you've literally got nothing to do. So this should encourage Cass to go around and do some art for us. I don't know where Cass is now. Oh, in the shower. Okay. Well, get creative in the shower, you know. I, I do a lot of thinking there. You got the hot water coming in, everything's quiet, people are leaving you alone. You get to think about stuff. And then you can go and do some art. No, don't don't pump water. Art. 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 Okay. Oh, no, I'm going to look in the wrong person. That's much. Oh, here's Cass. Cass. Art, man. You are idle? You're being, you are being idle. Why are you being idle? Why aren't you arting? Cannot reach any pending job tasks. But... Oh, awaiting material. Someone's got to build it first. Okay, someone's got to build it before you can art. And apparently I am wrong. If you've got nothing in the list, you won't do anything. So you can go and do some things, and that'll be okay. All right. Well, that's good to know. Lots of skill increases were coming in for people, and that's nice to see. Insufficient oxygen. I think we'll probably be okay there. Water levels are going down. We are slowly digging through here. Now, that singleton sand, I bet you will get rotted away at some point. Still, the rest should be okay. We actually might want to dig a little lower. The other thing we might want to do, um, in case this affects, like, water, water, like, usage or something, is we actually might want to go, especially to give us more room to work with some other things, is what if we go and just tile this up properly? 
like this. There we go. This is going to be our fresh water storage. We may have to move the pump um, because it's actually not going to be... Well, I guess I could leave it be. Well, that's not bad. And then pumps only works if we've got enough water in here. I don't know. We might want to move the pump down. Because, yeah, we could do... Cancel you. Uh, maybe ladder all the way down to here. Something like that. Gas permeable tiles. It's interesting. Um, use this wall and floor tile to build a room. Blocks the flow of liquid without obstructing the flow of gas. I wonder, like, what, what would be our application for that in this particular situation, if any. There's very little oxygen in here. Working in here, they've got to go and catch their breath from time to time. So this might be a bit of a slow process. Unless we go and put in a little algae terrarium. In the pits, they're still not going to have much in the way of oxygen. But running all the way down here to do a little bit of work and set up the pumps might be a little bit challenging. I think we will, in fact, build another algae terrarium right there. Can't be built until the foundation is in place, but that's going to be okay. There you go. Now it can be built. Although, again, if we can get this to somehow be partially submerged in water. So, let's assume, again, I don't know how, if this is going to work this way. Oh, and I need to put a cut in here. But let's assume I put a liquid vent here, which is going to come from downstairs. So, let's assume the water level stays to here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a tile... Um, a tile here, maybe on the other side. Like that. Dig you out. I'm going to dig those just to get the material, but I'm actually going to replace it with actual floor tile. That way people can climb up here. And what we're going to do is it's actually going to be right there that I'm going to stick an algae terrarium. And so the hope is that the water stays level to here and that the algae terrarium will be covered. Now, this water pump um, must be submerged. is almost certainly not functioning. Maybe the base is going to be sufficient, but I'm going to assume that it's, it's no good right now. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go and deconstruct that, and we're going to dig out to there. Um, I just realized we have no way to get back up here, so... Uh, what I can do is just build some tile here. Yes. There we go. Sounds like people are freaking out somewhere. Are people freaking out somewhere? No, I don't think so. I think we're okay. Alright, well, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in here. Um, so yeah, we'll be able to... Store water here, so it's going to be a 3 by 7 well-ish, I don't know, because of this area. Um, we can walk over there, and hopefully this will, will, will do how I imagine it. It might not work this way, but there's only one way to find out, and so that's what we're going to work on. And thank you very much for watching, folks, and I will see you guys next time.